Hey Libra, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do your March 2022 monthly tarot prediction. What's happening in your life and in your love and career and overall in your life? So keep an open mind. This is a general reading. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. Um, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Every Libra, Libra on my channel, please give me a follow on Instagram. And also you can follow me on TikTok if you want to. Everything is given in the description box, okay? So let's see what's happening with my Libra people out there. Sun, moon, and rising. Any placements? Let's see what's happening in your love life, overall life. What is the theme for you? And then we will see your career. You have the four of pentacles and the five of swords. Okay. So there's something disturbing you um, currently. This could be you um, holding on to something or someone is holding uh, back from you. Okay. And you're really, really exhausted because this thing is not going anywhere and you're tired of this. I'm hearing you're tired of the same old shit. Okay. I'm hearing. Yes, this is what I'm hearing. So basically you're not happy. Um in your current situation wherever you are this could be a work situation too like wherever you are working here there's a lot of drama conflict and tension is there um you could be worried about your money your finances okay but if it's a love situation definitely someone is holding back from you or you are holding back from this person yeah we have a two of pentacles so there's juggling here this could be your energy libra i feel this is you you're indecisive about uh, this person, this situation, you don't know what to do next. You don't know what is going to happen next. Yeah, death God. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Let's see. What is this Four of Pentacles is about? We have a Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords energy here. So you could be dealing with Sagittarius, a Scorpio, Pisces. We have a Capricorn. Yeah, Pisces again. Yeah, there's a definitely a lot of conflict here. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you, you're dealing with someone that who is already in a relationship. Could be a third party here. You know, this person is already with their karmic. Or you could be a karmic for this person. I don't know if they're already in a relationship here. We have a Capricorn and Pisces here, yes. So, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Why is that the karmic? We have the wheel. This is definitely, it's talking about some type of a cycles between you and this person. And then we have the devil. It's karma. So, there's something between you and this person is karmic here. Okay? If this is not your karmic, then this person is, if, in, if this person is married, because I'm seeing Ten of Pentacles, could be a marriage, could be children involved here. This person could have some type of custody with a child or, you know, with their ex or something. So, whatever, a family involved here. Does not have to be this person could be married or have family. Even this person's family is involved here. Like you're not, you can't be together because maybe this person, the family have a family issues. This person's family does not approve you or there could be family involvements here. I don't know. But yes, there's a lot of karma here between you and this person with the wheel of fortune and the devil. So yeah, a lot of twos here. You could be seeing a lot of twos in your reading um, are around you. Do, do, double two, 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 two numbers and four, four. So number two is all about harmony, balance, relationship, you know, and four is also number of stability. So right now, I don't think so. It's happening. It's a difficult between you and this person here to stable this relationship, to ground this relationship, whatever it is. Um, some of you, this is someone from your past with a death card here, um, or you maybe walked away from this person or this person walked away from you because I'm seeing that this is the energy of four of swords and the death card. Yeah. You're not in a contact with this person, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, you're not you're not in a contact. It's a no contact situation, or even though if it's a contact, um, I don't think so because two of swords and the hangman. It's like you are confused, even though if this person will ever come back to you or not, even though if this relationship is ever going to be balanced or not, you're not sure. Um, yeah, there's a lot of deception here. There's a lot of um, I strongly feel like it's it's a communication problem here with the death card here, and I'm also seeing the infinity symbol here. It's an ongoing so cycle between you and this person. So there's no solution here. There's a lot of tension here with the Five of Swords um, and Four of Pentacles. I feel this is the, there's a communication problem here. There's a lot of misunderstanding here, miscommunication between you and this person. Or maybe there's no contact at all because of this person's uh, karmic involved, family involved. 
um, this person could be going through a divorce, whoever the person you are connecting with, with the death card here, the Wheel of Fortune, they're trying to release this karmic cycle, they're trying to balance their life right now. Uh, we also have the Four of Swords energy, this could be your energy too, Libra, like recently you get out of a relationship or you want to get a um, divorce, okay, because I'm seeing here it's ending a relationship here, ending a marriage, ending a karmic cycle, ending a family a relationship with someone, either you or them. So just take what resonates. I'm strongly feeling this person could be still in the process of divorce. Are you? Maybe. We have the hangman because there's still a lot of delays here between this person. Uh, two of swords. A lot of confusion. Okay. Now let's see um, if we talk about... Um, I will talk about your career later. So a lot of you, you could be right now with the Wheel of Fortune and Four of Swords. This could be your energy. You are just trying to take a break from this relationship, taking a break, holding back from this person, this situation, because you don't know, even though you think about this person, um, you have no solution. You have no answer because it's, it's something is powerless here in this situation, out of your control. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of you, this is what you're doing right now. You need to meditate, okay? Also, you could be um, meditating. You're healing yourself. I can see that with the Four of Swords here. You could be with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like surrendering to the divine if it's mean to be, if it's mean to be. Because there's a lot of confusion here. I'm almost seeing that clouds. Like you don't know. You don't know about this situation, about this relationship. You don't know where it's going with this person. Yeah, we have a must list. So some of you, you're definitely working on yourself. If you are getting out of a relationship, you're really right now healing, meditating, focusing on yourself right now. If you're getting out of a marriage or relationship, divorce, um, this is what you're doing right now. Um, this is uh, With this um, devil energy, this person could be obsessed with you. Um, and at the same time, this is like the person juggling between you and their partner. And you don't know where this relationship is going, if it's a third party. Because I'm strongly feeling it's a third party here. Family, marriage, commitment, relationships. So this person is definitely juggling, but at the same time obsessed with you. We have a narcissism. Yes, here you go. With the devil energy and the narcissism. Some of you, you could be dealing with someone who is a narcissistic. Uh, if this person is a single, this person could have a commitment issues, marriage issues. They have a phobia of to get married and to be in a relationship. That's why they're not giving you with the Four of Pentacles, holding back. Because they know that you're going to ask them to do this. This person could have serious addictions. But I'm strongly feeling this addictions is coming from um, the phobia. Like they have a fear of commitment and marriage. We have a destructive habits. Yeah, this person could have a destructive habits. Yes. This is, this is some, you're dealing with someone who's, um, who have addictions. Who has to definitely work on their meditation healing. They need to come as uh, clear. Like, what do they want? Yeah, so I'm seeing taking a break. Some of you, yeah, I told you, the, with the Four of Swords, you're taking a break from this relationship. You're like, I'm done. It's not going to happen. Some of you, this is friendship involved here, like friends of benefits type of a connection here. Or you just want to be friend with this person, that's it. Or this person is offering you just friendship, but it's more than friendship and you want something more and they can't give you. Yeah, some of you, this is the unsaid here, like, wow. Some of you, this is the whole deception here you have never been um this person maybe never expressed their feelings to you they give you this hints or you know make this impression like they are into you because we have the friendship involved here but it's the unsaid like this person never speak to you that they love you they like you or they want to be with you or something talk about the future but they give you this type of signals it look like they led you on someone led you on okay and you're tired of this you're taking a break from this relationship and you should be you should be if you don't know what's happening here. So there's a lot, definitely a lot of uh, delays and confusion here. You don't know. Right now you need to take a break, meditate, heal yourself. Allow this person to give them space. Let them figure it out what do they want. But if it's a friend of benefits relationship, it's all up to you. And others of you, I'm seeing that this story is talking about. This person never uh, tell you that. How do they feel? This person has addiction. Definitely you're dealing with addictive person. Okay, now let's see about your career. So let me tell you, things are going to change, but right now it's not the right time. Because I'm seeing that the hangman and the wheel of fortune talking about right now it's not the right time to be with this person. Or this person is not ready. Especially if they are into a, another relationship or this is someone who has these habits, destructive, narcissistic qualities or habits. They need to definitely heal themselves. They need to be ready and prepare. And this is not your duty. Take a break from this relationship, okay? Take a break. Or vice versa if you're a cross-watcher. Just take a break from this relationship. Now, let's see what's happening in your career, Libra, in this month. 
we have a king of pentacles and we have the four of wands and the five of wands yeah so some of you you could be on the business okay you you could be an entrepreneur people here if it's not then with the wheel of fortune it's like destiny is knocking at your door you may be going to start something for yourself this month or you if you already uh, i feel like you already invested in this thing with the king of pentacles and the wheel of fortune definitely there's a money fall here money is flowing in your home in your life uh, things are changing for you with the wheel of fortune i feel like there's something fated happening here you could be getting some type of position here or promotion because I'm seeing with the four of wands, it's a celebration. You're celebrating something, um, you know, uh, at your workplace. But there is a competition here. So maybe you are going to be selected. Okay, whatever this uh, competition is with the five of wands, there's definitely competition and challenging situation here. But with the four of wands, I feel you're going to celebrate. You're going to be uh, selected. Okay. This is also talking about uh, if you are going to give the interview somewhere of, of, of a job or some type of a test. You're gonna pass okay we have ace of swords yes it's talking about clarity it's talking about um interview it could be uh, some type of um audition okay uh, that you're gonna be selected this is also talking about something new that you're starting this month like new course um of um maybe a new career that you're starting you have an idea definitely in your mind like where you want to go uh, you could be getting some type of ideas this month, okay? Like where you want to go, what you want to do, and you're definitely going to do it. Some of you, I'm hearing that you're working from the home, and you could be starting some type of a home business. Yeah, Ten of Cups, again, something related with the home, family, some type of a family business maybe you're taking over for some of you. Or you may be going to create some type of a family environment here, happiness here. Uh, I'm also seeing that you could be buying a home with the Four of Wands and Ten of Cups. Yeah, you could be buying a home. Especially if you're married here, you could be settling down with someone. You could be going back to wherever your person live, like your husband or wife, especially your husband with the king of pentacles. This is for those people that married. So you're going to move into a city or state or you're going to take a home wherever you're, uh, buy a house wherever your husband live, a person live, boyfriend, whatever. Um, yeah, family involvement here. There's definitely a lot of celebration here. But if you're single here, still it could be you're buying a house for your family, for your mother, for your parents, for your partner. I don't know. We also have a nine of cups. Yes, I feel like business is looking good. A lot of you, you could be a creative people here with the Nine of Cups. Look, there's some type of, it's like opening the box. It's like winning the lottery. So maybe literally you're winning a lottery because we have the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny is with you. It's luck. That is, uh, it's, it's your luck, okay, Libra, that you're getting this job or getting this promotion, success. Or um, it's like wish, wish, wish fulfillment. It's here. So you're going to be happy. You're going to feel happy in your career and work situation, okay? That's your reading. Going to see you later. Bye.